Currently, there are four freezing towers in the game, the Sledger, Freezer, Bossbuster, and Chiromancer. Because these towers serve a similar purpose, you might be wondering which one of these towers is the best. In this video, I'll be ranking each of these towers from worst to best considering their stats, values, and uses. Also, I'll be ranking them based on both their DPS and stalling. So hit that like button and subscribe and let's get started. In last place, we have the Freezer. Well, this tower is pretty good now, having great stalling, it just isn't as good as the rest of the towers on this list. This is mainly because of his DPS, which is still very lackluster. At max level, it does 11.96 DPS, for a total of 7,875 cash, giving it a value of 1.52 DPS per 1k spent. That means in terms of dealing damage, the Freezer is still basically pointless. However, it is pretty decent at stalling thanks to its new rework. At max level, it slows enemies by 25% with each shot and fires in bursts of 7 every second. Once enemies reach 75% slow, Bonus, they freeze for two seconds. Because of this, you can either set it to random to slow down a whole crowd of enemies, set it to strong to freeze a deadly boss, or have it on first to clump up groups of enemies, allowing your splash damage towers to deal better damage. Not to mention, it also has the freeze grenade ability, which can freeze up to five enemies for four seconds. It isn't super useful due to its 20 second cooldown, but it helps and can be used as a backup against fast enemies. Unfortunately, its stalling is still worse than most of the freezing towers, and its DPS is absolutely terrible. So, because of that, it's the worst freezing tower. In third place, we have the Sledger. Let me make this clear. In terms of stalling, the Sledger is much worse than the Freezer. At max level, it slows enemies by 50% each hit and freezes them for 2 seconds after 2 hits. Because it can hit 5 enemies, that allows it to slow a decent amount of enemies at once. However, because it has a swing rate of 1.358, this stalling is significantly worse than the Freezer. It isn't able to affect a large amount of enemies, and it also has abysmal range due to being a melee tower. But what makes it better than the Freezer is that it actually has good DPS. It has a max single target DPS of 88.37 and can hit 5 enemies at a time, giving it a potential 441.85 DPS for a total of 37,350 cash. That's a value of 11.83 DPS per 1k spent. On top of this, it has a passive ability that can double its DPS. When it hits frozen enemies, it deals two times the amount of damage. Unfortunately, its freeze is too short to take advantage of this by itself. But if you pair it with another freezing tower, like the freezer, and manage to get all five enemies to be frozen as the sledger attacks them, this will increase its max DPS to 883.7. This is more of a fun fact though, as you'll rarely be able to pull this off. In summary, the sledger sucks at stalling, but because of its high DPS, it's in general better than the freezer. In second place, ahead of the Sledger, we have the Chiromancer. This tower attacks at the Pyromancer, but instead of burning them, it freezes them. First of all, it is incredibly cheap, only costing 300 cash and yet being able to stall groups of enemies by up to 50%. This can make a huge difference in the early game, not only handling large crowds of enemies, but also stalling bosses, allowing you to farm much harder. At max level, it costs 14,985 cash, slows enemies by 10% every 0.208 seconds, freezes enemies at 75% slowness, and the freeze effect deals a passive 3 damage every 0.25 seconds. This gives the Chiromancer two potential uses. On one hand, it's fantastic at stalling large crowds of enemies, being able to slow and fully freeze enemies. This makes handling them much easier, and it's undeniably much better at freezing than the Freezer or Sledger. It's also got surprisingly good crowd control, as the combination of decent damage and stalling makes for a solid tower against groups of enemies. Because of this, I decided to rank it as the second best freezing tower. However, ahead of it, in first place, we have the Frost Blaster. It costs 850 cash to place, allowing you to get it pretty early on. At level 0, it fires every 0.858 seconds, deals 2 damage, slows enemies for 1.5 seconds, and freezes them for 0.5 seconds. It can also hit up to three enemies. This makes it a great cheap option for stalling enemies and can be really helpful in the early game, but it gets much better at max level. For 15,600 cash total, it fires every 1.5 away seconds, deals 35 damage, and freezes enemies for 1.25 seconds. It can also hit up to seven enemies at a time and has an insane 22 range. This is the perfect combination of stats, as because the fire rate is only 0.25 seconds slower than the amount of time an enemy stays frozen, the enemy will only have 0.25 seconds to move before being stunned again. Also, during this short time, the enemy will be under the effect of slowness, meaning they can hardly move at all. This results in a near permanent stall, and considering it has a placement limit of 10, and it can hit 7 enemies at a time, it's pretty easy to stall almost an entire wave of enemies. Its DPS isn't bad either, having 23.21 single target DPS. While this doesn't give it great value, being only 1.49 DPS per 1k spent is much better against crowds. If it hits the max amount of 7 enemies, which can be done pretty consistently with good placement, it has a DPS of 162.47 and a value of 10.41, which is really good. On top of all this, the Frost Blaster also gets hidden section at level 1, allowing it to stall the Shadow Boss, which is often a really big threat. All of this makes the Frostbuster an incredibly useful tower, and by far the best freezing tower. As the best stalling in the game, really solid DPS against crowds, and placing it down will always make your game a lot easier for a pretty cheap price. But what do you think? Is the Frostbuster the best freezing tower? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Also, consider checking out my Discord server if you want to talk to me. There's a link pinned in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.